Raining day. Raining day, Shanghai! Hey everyone, welcome to Little for Life. Uh, we're gonna do something different today. We are just filming a food vlog. This is the first time that we will just shoot a video purely on food purely on one restaurant so if you like this please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below so we are at this restaurant right now if you have followed the vlog you would have seen it already at our favorite place now Feng Chen. wow they have kids stuck over here We are trying out Luo Sifeng, which is a river snail, river snail noodle, which is originally from Liu Zhou, Guanxi. So Guanxi is in southern China, and it borders Vietnam, and it's quite smelly, right? Yeah, it's smelly. So let's look at the menu. This is all the small snacks, vegetables, egg, ca cafe, udon. Oh, curry, curry udon. <laughs> Curry udon, uh, curry fish balls, uh, meal nan, cha xiao, fei chang, uh, pork knuckle. This is quite hard translating in my mind. And then this is all the noodles. I think we're gonna get this one, which is the zhao pai chou chou jing shi fen. This is their signature dish. Oh, they even have a tang shui, a dessert. Yumi, tang, noodle tang. Lemon curl, lemon curl, so Guangdong Cantonese style. Crispy pork. So I had this last time. This one's char xiao. This one's just some boiled vegetables. Oh, thank you. So this is actually made from river snails and pork bone broth. They actually boil the broth for about like eight hours plus to get the smell. But there's actually no river snails actually inside. But you can smell. It is pretty stinky to be honest. But the taste is really nice. There is snail. Let's have a look. So this is a uh, medium spicy. So this is one of those foods that you either love or hate. Uh, and I've grown a love for it, I think. So let's have a look. There's pickled roots, beans, uh, normal tofu, uh, peanuts, which has a nice crunch, quail egg, and of course, stinky tofu. The noodle is actually like a like vermicelli noodle and I guess this is really smelly because look at Michaela she's been sitting like this for quite a while right is it smelly Michaela yeah sorry explain the taste let's take a bite the sourness and the spice is really nice it kind of has a burn in your mouth but the noodles quite plain but a uh, nice texture and when you have all that spicy stuff then you have a mouthful of this crispy fatty pork is so nice look at that fat it's like stained glass window look at it look at the light just coming through that mm. the crunchiness of that pork with this is just so nice the smell is just kind of like sour right the sun top the twin <laughs> cherry says stinks like so many feet. Yeah. 
Uh, a report in June 2020 says that there was about 2.5 million instant or siphon noodles being produced a day. That's a lot of noodles. I think the beauty of this noodle is just eating like one mouthful of noodle and then having something else to add to that noodle because the noodle itself is quite plain. I just like eating this with like all the bits and pieces. The fatty pork, it just complements the spicy noodles so well. Okay, let's just having plain noodles though. What does it taste like? So I'm not really a fan of stinky tofu but it's just so nice with the noodle. That's that stinky smell is left in your mouth and then you take a mouth for this. Really nice mix, uh, stinky aroma. <coughs> <coughs> so I think these are actually pickled bamboo shoots. This is a good bite. Mix of everything, crunchy, spicy, savoury. You get to the bottom, every bite, so many textures, so many flavors, crunchy, sour, so delicious. Casualty, spicy broth in eye. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Finished. Should definitely try this. <laughs> really like these chairs. Reminds me of uh, old school Hong Kong. I use tissue, gun you nigga to jing. No, I don't say it's a very now. Yep. Smells a little bit. Do you smell from what's it, man? Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> 